Alright, so welcome to fish number three here, everybody. Let's go ahead here and you know run the same process. Let's go ahead and load in our image that we're going to need here. So we'll just click our folder fish three and we're going to go ahead and create a sheep head here. So just looking under our texture, go ahead and just double click this so it comes in. Go ahead and add that to our spotlight. And we're going to go ahead here and save our spotlight. So fish three. We're going to call this the sheep head spotlight. Okay. And we'll just go ahead and close our window here. Go ahead and just turn our opacity up for our sheep head. And you can see that I already have our uh, base mesh loaded here. So we just need to, you know, manipulate the shape here. We're going to go ahead and change the material real quick. Okay, probably scale this up a little bit. And let's just go ahead here and manipulate the shape. So we're just going to use the move topological brush. And we'll just try and get this into the shape that we want here. So we'll just, you know, continue to basically just pull the mesh here. And just be a little careful on how we go ahead and shape this. Go ahead and hold on the belly of our fish here. Okay, go ahead and pull out our face. I think maybe we should push back here so he has a little bit more of a forehead. Okay. And maybe the back belly there. Okay, so I think that's looking uh, fairly, fairly good, so maybe we should fatten them up there a little bit. Let's go ahead here and pull out our fins that we're going to need. Okay, I think this time we can go ahead and start on the bottom. Just pull that mask down. We'll go ahead and mask an area out there. Go ahead and invert that mask. And just go ahead and pull this out. Okay, go ahead and clear that mask. Go ahead and smooth that out a little bit. We'll go ahead and redynamesh that. Okay. Go ahead and do the top here as well. And you'll notice that I'm really trying to keep um, whenever we have fish that have a rather large fin on the top, we're, I'm definitely trying to keep them separated and not just make them one uh, sort of specific mesh. So go ahead and just pull this up here. Just making sure that we try and match the overall shape there. Okay, let's go ahead and redynamesh that out. maybe adjust the shape here just a little bit more. Okay, we can go ahead and do the back fin here. Just inverting that mask simply by holding down control and clicking off of the model. Okay, so we'll go ahead and pull that out. Take that mask off. Maybe pull that shape out a little bit smooth it, click and drag to redynamesh there. Okay, let's go ahead and pull the side fins out here. And go ahead and pull that out. get him into shape here. And you can see that I pulled that out and it's a little bit uh, messed up in terms of the geometry. And that's fine because whenever I go to you know, smooth it and dynamesh it, it'll work out fine. So let's go ahead and just make sure that we pull the back out here just a little bit more. Okay, go ahead and smooth that out. Clear that mask. 
mask and let's see if this will dynamesh decently here. Okay, so that's good. We can probably clean up the behind part there. Okay, and let's go ahead here and pull out these bottom fins. And so uh, you can see where we definitely kind of run out of room here. So we definitely are going to have to pull this up. So I'll just go ahead and pull this up a little bit, at least for now. Um, we can go ahead and really maintain that shape or adjust that shape when we start sculpting. Should probably fatten up that fin here before we go ahead and do that. Probably on the end here as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw in our mask for our bottom fin here. Go ahead and invert that mask. Bring our image back just to make sure that we're at least pulling out in the, the right general area. So we'll go ahead and just grab our move topological, pull that down, and just basically fatten this up here real quick. And it has to go to the outside a lot more for sure. Okay. Smooth that out. Go ahead and dynamesh that. Smooth that out just so that we get a decent geometry whenever we remesh here. Okay, so I can go ahead and if I wanted to manipulate the shape here just a little bit, um, not too much. I think I want to go ahead and puff out the cheeks here a little bit. kind of fatten his face up there a little bit as you can see. Should probably make him at least a little bit fatter on the side here. Okay. So at this point I'm going to go ahead here and save our Dynamesh for this. So we'll call this the Sheep Head Dyna. Okay, and let's see what our geometry is going to look here whenever we Z remesh it. So geometry, make sure we turn our Dynamesh off, turn our project off, Z remesher, target polygon count again is going to be 100 because I want to make sure that I uh, encapsulate that whole model. So we'll go Z remesher. And you can see that that's, this isn't necessarily going to take too much time to go ahead and go through. Okay, so let's take a look at our geometry. And it's looking decent. Let's go ahead and cut that in half. Okay, so we'll go ahead and cut that in half one more time. And I think that that is a uh, decent level to go ahead and start on. So I'm going to go ahead and save this, and we're going to call this the Sheep Head Base Geo. Okay, so there's for um, uh, our base mesh for beginning sculpting, and in the next lesson we'll go ahead and come back and start sculpting our Sheep Head Fish. So, come on back.